All right, welcome back to another Django um, Pro tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, we're just going to talk a little bit about Django and what it is. Uh, first off, uh, since I get called out all the time, the pronunci pronunciation, which I can't pr pronounce pronunciation, of Django is the, the silent Django. Uh, when I first started learning Django, uh, I was working with another gentleman. Um, we were both working in Python, and we started doing side work where we're b building sites in Django and he constantly called it the Django with a D. So for the longest time, believe it or not, I thought it was the Django. Um, and then someone mentioned to me it's Django with a silent D. So that's how you pronounce it. And it was named after a famous jazz player, Django Reinhardt. Um, <clears throat> now the history of Django uh, Django was created by Adrian Havati and Simon Wilson back in 2003. They were developers at a, uh, web, a news website uh, called World Online. And this news website, basically, um, they had deadlines to meet. And they needed a quick uh, turnaround on updating their website and whatnot. Um, so if their bosses said, hey, we want this on the website... You know they had to have it done, and they were writing code in PHP. Now, if any of you guys know, PHP is you know it, it's quick, but it's not as easy as Python, right? So, what they did was they started working with Python, and they took um, some ideas, and they actually built a uh, web framework, which is now called Django. Um, in two thousand five, they released. Django to the uh, world as an open source project and now there's a ton of developers behind Django who are constantly updating it. Uh, the cool part about Django is uh, the fact that there's so much work that has been put into it and continue put into it, continually put into it, that Django just keeps getting better. All right. Um, there, now there is times I do admit that uh, maybe using Django is not the best option. And there's other times when using Django, it's the best option. So kind of when I have a client come to me, uh, I listen to what they want as for their website. Um, I do everything in Python. So it's either Django or another format of uh, creating a website with Python because there's other frameworks out there. There's ones out there that have no bells and whistles. And that's the one that I'll use if the client wants a completely custom website uh, that, you know, Django is just going to be bulky to me at that point. So we start with a pretty basic web framework at that point. Um, now, Django, when I have a client come to me and say, hey, I need a website and I want it quickly. Well, hey, all right, I got one for you, Django. And I just run with it. Um, creating websites in Django is so quick. Once you get used to it, you can whiz right through it. Um, so that's the cool part about Django, and that was what the developers, um, Adrian and Simon, were trying to do. They needed something that they could build websites quickly with. Um, so what what are the features of Django? Well, it can be summed up in a few words. Django is a high-level web framework for Python program for the Python program language, which is which is designed for rapid development of websites, clean coding fashion, and format it to use the dry or the do not repeat yourself concept. All right. So what I mean by don't repeat yourself is there's packages out there for Django. If you want to create something for your site then you probably should go look for the package first because someone probably created it. Now, if you're just learning Python, like in a lot of the tutorials I'm going to show you, a lot of the apps that we're going to build, yeah, someone already built that, but just showing you how to download it, install it on the, on, in Django uh, is not going to benefit you guys. You guys aren't going to learn anything from it. So we're going to do everything from scratch as much as possible. All right. Um, so, it, you know, another thing you talk about is who uses Django. Um, for example, Pinterest, Instagram, Bitbucket, The Onion, and I, I don't know, there's a whole bunch of them out there. Uh, if you go to, like, DjangoProject.com, uh, they actually have a list of a bunch of Django 
uh, websites that are built on top of the Django web framework. Um, so I highly suggest when you're going through the Django tutorial series or if you're working on it on your own, um, if you got questions, get in the habit of going to djangoproject.com and checking out um, the documentation. That should be like your Bible, all right, when you're writing code. Uh, when you go to djangoproject.com, they have great documentation. Yeah, I can help you with a lot of things, but you, you need to learn to be able to find it in the documentation. Um, so go ahead and get in the habit of doing that. If you got a question, go look in Django's documentation. If you can't find the an answer and Google's not helping you as well, go ahead, feel free to ask me a question, all right? And I'll help you out. Uh, the next tutorial, we'll keep moving on. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like the video, don't forget to share it, and I'll see you in the next one.